Good afternoon everyone. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Again, my name is JD Mercado and I am the IT officer of the Division of Mandaluyong City. Welcome to another episode of the Mandalorian webinar series. And today is an exciting day for us because um, we will have another session ICT related, which is virtual reality in the classroom. And to discuss that and to share the wonderful applications that you can use for virtual reality, we have the ICT coordinator from Andres Bonifacio Integrated School. We have Miss Dorothy Grace Reyes. Hi, Dorothy. Hi. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you, Sir JD, for having us here. Um, I hope everybody could listen and um, we could encourage everyone to try out virtual reality in the classroom, lalo not this um, present time that we have right now, the new normal. Maybe this could be our, um, this could augment, augmented reality could, could augment the classroom that we are missing right now. Okay, so um, thank you, Sir JD. Yes, um, Sir JD will be coming back with us later on um, to to help me answering questions. So if ever you have questions later on, just simply type on the comment section, and then Sir JD will be filtering them up. Um, super power niya yan eh. <laughs> Medyo dyan tayo challenge. And, and then, of course, don't forget the subscribe button down below so can, you can see yes. more videos Thank from you. Our yeah. so. Also, um, the links available for, for the things that you needed to download are also in the description box below. Okay, so we will try to answer the questions later on at the end of the presentation. So for now, Sir JD, we will say goodbye for you for a little while and then um, we'll have you later on. Okay, so welcome to our um another webinar series of mandalearn our topic for today is entitled virtual reality in the classroom um with that allow me to share my screen with you okay maraming maraming salamat po sa mga kasama natin today ayan so we have a lot of people joining us today so before we start off, I have announced this earlier this afternoon, mga tanghali, and asked everyone if you wanted to join us in exploring the applications. So kindly just download the following. I'll give you enough time to download the links. Um, also, if you needed the links, they are found at the description box below on your YouTube um, to be guided. Okay, so we have... Merge Explore, we have Virtuality, Jig Space, and the application that I've been using to show my presentation sa phone to my PC screen or projector without Chromecast. Yun kasi yung nagiging problem natin, no? Sa mga teachers, whenever I present, um, Ma'am, wala kaming Chromecast, so should we purchase another one and such. So, Reflector Teacher is available, and that is for for your for the teacher's desktop, computer, or PC. While the Reflector Student naman, yung hindi na-download naman natin sa ating mga mobile phones. Okay? So, we have Merge Explore, Virtuality, and Jig Space. Yan. And then another we have um, for you just to try it out, Zapar Wanna Kick. You should try out Wanna Kick. You should try out Wanna Kicks and Hippo Magic. Although, ito yung mga add-ons na lang natin. Hindi naman natin siya ito tackle today. Medyo patikim lang. But if you wanted to learn more about this, um, I will be creating siguro another video for that so please don't forget to subscribe and press uh, the bell button so that you get notified with the new applications okay so while waiting for you to to download everything right now um i would like to discuss paano ba tayo napunta? why are we in virtual reality in the classroom and why should we consider that um Na introduce na ako kanina, Sir JD. Of course, I am 
Dorothy Grace Reyes, an ICT coordinator and a grade 12 CSS teacher of Andres Bonifacio Integrated School. I am a Google Educator group leader, a Google Certified Educator, Microsoft Ambassador, Google, a Global Filipino School Master Teacher from Globe. Um, I am also a PLDT Master Trainer and Facebook Digital Tayo Ambassador. So, medyo marami. Um, I like keeping myself busy with with things that I have right now. So, yeah. Okay. I hope everybody is downloading. Kindly reply or comment on done. Medyo pasensya na may mga barangay tayo. Alam nyo na ECQ, no? Live. So, hayaan lang natin. So, if ever you were able to download the applications, Please um, comment that you're done, you are uh, successful in downloading. The applications that I shared earlier were actually available in both iOS and Android applications. All right, so let's proceed now with the, the reason why we are here. Um, we are actually currently in the in, uh, fourth industrial revolution. It all started in the first, okay, the first industrial um, industrial revolution where in mechanization, steam powered. These were the times that it was developed na we are changing from manipulation, um, using of hands in, in working and automating it with the use of machineries. And then came in the second industrial revolution we're in with with the changes happening from Henry Ford's Ford manufacturing of cars. They they created the assembly line, wherein they um, enabled the production into a most cost efficient way. The the preparation from ten days it boils down into one day because of the assembly line. And then came in the automation or the computers and electronics. Ito yung mga naabutan na natin, 90s, na um, some of the workers are replaced with robotic hands to automatically create everything. So, karamihan akala we are still stuck with, with this one na, oy, high-tech na kasi naka-manipulated na through machines. But unfortunately, um, Na super, na surpass na natin yon. Instead, we are now in our fourth industrial revolution, which is cyber physical system, internet of things and network, such as ERP. So everything is automated. Kung familiar kayo before with, with chicken sad, nung nawala ng chicken joy sa lahat ng Jollibee, it is the time we're in nag upgrade from, uh, traditional na procurement naging ERP na tayo. That means from the store, kapag kinlik ni manager na magko-connect siya doon, automatically pumapalo kay warehouse, pumapalo kay logistics, lahat ng schedules natin. So, nandun na tayo ngayon sa ganong klaseng um, industry. Uh, with a push of a button, with a click of a button, we can power everything. Siguro yan din yung nangyayari. That's why work from home is possible right now here in the Philippines. Because our IT personnel are actually um, monitoring their servers um, virtually. Okay, kahit may distance na, na ma-monitor nila everything. So, this came in actually in time. Mas pinroove sa atin ng ECQ na we are ready and we could be prepared enough. And now the school is also transitioning with the new normal that we are calling. Um, during our time kasi in the educational system, meron si teacher sasabihin na, oh, if I would draw uh, a line downwards, you should also draw the line, the line downwards. Kailangan 100% kopya ang kopya ng estudyante kung paano din demonstrate ni teacher. If hindi siya nag uh, hindi siya nagconform sa 100% na steps na ginawa ni teacher, he would end up uh, getting a lower grade kasi yun yung standard natin ng pagtuturo. Andiyan yung ipapa-memorize sa yung history, yung yung periodic table, ganyan, ba? Although it it became uh, it helped us in remembering things, 
but actually the main purpose of the industry then is for you to remember exactly what to do is because we are being prepared to become factory workers, to become an assembly line person, to become someone who could perform the task every day exactly the same thing as you did on the first day of work. So, ganun yung nangyari sa atin. But in, in this new trend of the 21st century, um, may pagbabago na tayong um, kinakaharap. With the help of UNESCO's framework, it says there that it is not enough for teachers to have ICT competencies. Hindi na siya special skill ngayon. It is a required skill na. Okay? So, kasama na ngayon sa screening for applicants right now. Na kailangan hindi ka lang um, gumagamit. Kailangan marunong ka rin mag-improve, mag ma, ma, uh, to test out things. Yan. So, may mga ganyan tayo. Teachers need to be able to help students become more collaborative in terms of collaborative problem-solving skills. Creative learners through using ICT. We are actually having learners right now na sabi nga natin, mas magaling pa sila sa atin. And it is not a bad thing. Diba? Sabi nga namin sa CSS, sa ICT, malalaman mong naturo mo ng tama kapag ang bata eh nagawa or mas magaling pa siya sa'yo. So, ganun na yung standards natin ngayon. Um, we are dealing with 21st century learners and the only way for us to do that is to adjust to them. Diba? Sabi nga natin, sino mag a -adjust? Tayo po. Tayo na ang mag a -adjust dahil we have different types of learners na. Okay? So, according to UNESCO, they have found out that remembering before na primary need natin for learner is actually um, one of the basic na lang. Okay? But, but the pinaka kinakailangan ngayon ng learners is they should be able to create, which is the top of our, of our pyramid. Kailangan mas magaling silang mag-create, mag-solve, mag-evaluate, mag-analyze. Kasi we are actually developing learners. Di ba? Hindi na tayo magpo-produce ng factory worker who could perform the task 100% kagaya ng ginagawa natin. But instead, um, we are producing learners who could become someone na hindi pa naimbentong trabaho. Before naman, hindi employment or hindi source of income ang pagbablog. But right now, yun ang gusto ng studyante. And right now, nakikita natin na yun ang kumikita. Okay? The app developers are earning enough money, sufficient enough for them to create their own company. As early as 20 years old, they are the CEO of their own companies. So we can only develop that to a student if hindi natin sila pinag-memorize, hindi natin sila ano. But we give them problems to solve. Let them find um, issues that they could give out their their services such as um, yung advocacies natin. So yun na yung dinedevelop natin sa mga sudyante. So with that, DepEd actually conform with UNESCO's um, framework. And ito na yung bagong framework natin. Right now, I've, before kasi we are used to having the three R's. Reading, writing, arithmetic. So yun lang yung alam natin. Na doon tayo lumaki actually. But right now, mas, um, we are adding, we are not eliminating, but we are adding something that could fit the 21st century learning skills. Anja na si life and career skills. If you are familiar with grade 12, meron na tayong immersion, work immersion na subject, wherein they could get, explore, get to explore the actual sites of what we have right now. Then we also have the learning and innovation skills or the five Cs, which are critical thinking, communication and collaboration, creativity and character. Importante pa rin, of course, ang character ng isang sudyante or ng character ng isang person in order for them to, to become a good employee or a good citizen of the nation as well. And of course, hindi natin alisin, on the last part, we have the information and media uh, technology skills. So, andyan na yun, they can manipulate 
things they could remotely create and respond to the needs of everything so nandiyan okay so with DepEd's needs right now, ang sabi nga natin, there are only three successive stages of a teacher's development. Unang-una, we have technology literacy. The use of ICT to learn efficiency. So, yung paggamit, yun yung first stage natin. If you already know how to use the technology, how are we going to use the technology in knowledge deepening? Paano magagamitin yung skill na yun? In order for you to have, uh, to in order for you to solve a certain problem, and of course, knowledge creation. Na identify mo na yung problem. So what are we going to do? How are we going to solve that one? How are we going to sol solve and reach out the community? Kung napabansin yun sa mga Facebook natin, there are people with 3D printers. Na they use their ICT equipment and skills. They found out the problem that there is lacking of the uh, face guard. So what they did, they printed it out. And then they created something to help and give and to donate to the society. Yun yung mga kailangan natin. These are the things that we needed to develop in the learners. Hindi sapat na ikaw lang. But you have to develop your skills for the benefit of the whole society, of how you become a better citizen. Okay? So, without further ado, ito na po tayo. So, um, these are the things that we actually use inside the classroom. Um, we have Kahoots, Lakers, Zipgrade, and Galactic Explorer. So, yan yung mga ginagamit namin. And of course, um, the virtuality. Okay? So, hindi man, uh, allow me to show you kung paano namin ginamit yung mga applications na to. I did not mention this to download, but you could actually try to download it. Um, I'll try to make an application for this um, siguro on the next video that we will be having. So this one, I am currently using Plickers at this time. Um, I think I've been running this for almost four years already. I distribute the Plicker cards. And so pakita ko muna. Through my phone, I could check um, their responses to our quizzes by just simply lifting up their cue cards. Yeah, and then I distribute at the start of the at, at the start of the school year. I distribute na ako ng codes for each of my class to use, and then dinikit nila yan sa notebook nila. So every time na magkukwiz kami, they will just bring it out, and then each side kasi nung nung clicker card natin. Meron dyan letters A, B, C, and D. So, whichever their answer is, irorotate lang nila yun. But again, we will discuss this one at the next video na lang siguro. Since I'm just showing you um, how we prepare that one. So, naisip ko rin before na aside from, aside from quizzes, how else could I use the application? So, I tried using clickers for my attendance. So, ang ginawa ko, I'll just type on my my date that day. So, that's June 27, 2018 pa. And then, I just type in anything. So, yung bagong clickers ngayon, ang ginagamit niya is, ano na, um, you have to type on your web bago ko mag-attendance. Yan. So, what you're seeing right now on your screens is, I am checking their attendance. Within one minute, tapos nang mag-check na attendance. No need to roll call. So, lahat ng sudyanteng matatamaan ng screen, ng, ng phone, masascan, automatic, they are recorded as present. So, yung mga gray lang dyan na part, these are the students who are absent. So, yan. Shout out nga pala sa mga sudyante ko who are actually tuned in right now and joining us. Okay? The next one we have in the, yung automated din natin is zip grade naman. Again, I will just prepare another instructional video for the ZipGrade. ZipGrade is an application I use for checking quizzes, application, uh, periodic exams. Yan. So, ginagawa lang namin dyan. I just scan there. I'll just, ayan. So, I'll open ZipGrade. Then, I'll choose the periodic exam. 
Uh, nagpaalam naman po ako sa mga sudyante ko that they will be, I will be using their their scores. Uh, matataas naman ang grade ng mga yan. So, yan. In just one second, na-check ka ng grade ng bata, you could see their scores. That's 42 over 50, 41 over 50. Ganong kabilis, nasa scan na agad ang response ng mga estudyante. So, it is automatically recorded as well. And, ayan na. Um, item analysis is also checked right away. Nandyan na rin. So, wala na yung magtataas ng kamay sa klase, bibilangin kung sino, ilan yung tama, ilan yung mali. This could also guide us in verifying how effective your periodic exam was. Kasi nakikita agad doon kung ano yung score ng bata. Kung saan sila, karamihan nagkamali. Baka, is it, maybe it's in the form of the question. May ganun ako na-found out eh, using the grade. I found out that my quizzes, na karamihan nagkamali doon. When I check on the question, malabo pala yung picture. Kaya naman pala marami nagkamaling sumagot doon sa item na yun. So, with that, I could actually, myself, could could correct that that mistake that I have um that I have done before so the next time that it happened that I administered the exam medyo mas maayos na so minsan kasi hindi bata ang problema question pala para hindi natin na ano so these are now the results of their quizzes ayan so nandiyan na yung percentage kung gusto niyo tingnan yung gawa ng bata bawat isa ayan so, hindi na kailangang bitbitin ni teacher yung kanyang mga test papers sa bahay para mag-record. Dala na po. So, paano kung doble na shade? Kanina may nakita tayo. Um, minalian siya. Ayan. Minalian siya kasi dalawa yung sagot niya. Dapat isa lang. Okay? So, ganun po tayo mag-check. And then, we also have there, pag kinlik mo yung item analysis, ayan, nakikita na natin ilang percent yung tama. <coughs> Anong letters sila tama? Saan yung akala nila tama? Okay? Ganyan. So, ginagamit namin kasi si ZipGrade dahil hindi kasali ang TLE sa Scantron. Okay? So, yan yung ginagamit namin. Aside from that, kung, hindi ka, kung may Scantron naman kayo, you could use this for your for your, uh, summative test, chapter test. You could choose actually whether it's... um. Um, pwede mo kasi piliin siya kung 100 items, 20 items, 50 items. Meron na siyang template na available. Okay? So, again, I'll make a link of another video. So, if you would subscribe, I will be uploading more of these videos in the next few days. So, right now, eto na. I would like to show you a new application which is Hippo Magic. So, si Hippo Magic natin, um, I'll just uh, give me time to to set up my devices para makita natin. We will only have to connect. Nakapag-download na po ba tayo ng mga applications natin? Ayan. Thank you, Sir JD, for answering questions. Hello po sa mga may questions sa atin dyan. Um, if you are currently just viewing it right now, the links are below for you to download and um, to follow the instruction to any mga applications na gagamitin natin. Ito po, eh, isha-share ko pa lang. Naka-indicate po sa ating description down below kung ano yung ida-download kay, kay mobile phone, kung ano yung ida-download kay mobile ah, kay PC or laptop natin. Okay? So, while setting up, I would like to show you first, this is my augmented reality book. Maraming nagtatanong, ano ba ang difference ng augmented reality with virtual reality? Actually, the title of my presentation should be augmented reality. Kaya lang, medyo nalilito sila or hindi pa familiar sa term na augmented reality. Okay? Augmented reality, that means um, you are sharing an actual video, uh, an actual feed, kung ano yan, live, ganyan, with the reality or the virtual activities that we have. So, yan yun, si Little Red Riding Hood. Ang nangyayari dito with this code, ayan, with this code, 
pag in ko siya using my phone, uh, magpe-play si Little Red Riding Hood sa atin. So, yan, nag-set up lang tayo for us to view and see the applications that we have right now. I am blessed with my brothers and sisters who are actually helping me right now in performing this. Okay? So, yan na po siya. We have Hippo Magic. Yung ginagamit ko pong applications right now is... Yohan lang natin yung screen mirroring natin. And then... We will be right. <laughs> Ayan. May masama ako dito. You are actually helping me out. Maraming maraming salamat. Um, thank you po sa mga who, who are joining us right now. Ilan na ba tayo? Ayan. Marami-rami po tayo ngayon. And the applications that I have shared with you. And alam nyo na live kaya ganito tayo. So yan. So we have it. We have our book right now. So sa scan lang natin si Little Red Riding Hood. And then yan. Present na natin siya. Hi! I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Nice to meet you. One time, I went to my grandmother's house, like I always do. But this time, I put myself in grave danger. I didn't know how bad it was to talk to strangers, especially the big, bad wolf. <gasps> Let me show you what happens next. Open the book and meet me on the following pages, and I'll be waiting for you. So when we say augmented reality, that means we are sharing with the book. Tayo kasama tayo sa background natin. So while exploring that, sabi ni Little Red Riding Hood, let's open the book. And it may parts ng book kasi that you could read. And then may parts tayo that has applications. So you have to do to scan the book. And then you Let's play! Hello there! So we have the applications like this. And so my activity done that Little Red Riding Hood could actually color the flower. And Again, this is a book. It is a book from Big Bad Wolf. Kung familiar kayo sa Big Bad Wolf, mga nakasale yung mga libro nila. So this augmented reality book is actually just 290 isa. 
290 for an augmented reality. This may might be the the next favorite book of your children of your students. Yeah, so here na yung ganyan activity. So kahit grade 12 student, medyo amazed din sila when I showed them this kind of applications. Okay? So moving forward tayo with our <laughs> with our activity. And so from Hippo Magic Little Riding Hood Marami pa rin tayong other activities. So, eto na. Na-download na po ba natin ang ating Merge Cube? Okay, baka sabihin nyo, makin naman ang Merge Cube. Um, I have included a link ng, si Merge Cube po kasi, yung nakikita ninyo sa screen, um, binibili po yan. Um, they sell it in the US. I think it's in cost ko, um, they sold it for $1, so parang 50 pesos lang. Kaya karamihan na US teachers, nagbilihan agad compared to I think $4 or $5 siya before. So medyo sinil siya. Nagbilihan sila. But fortunately for um, with Merge Cube, they have tried given us a free paper based cube. I shared the link below for you to print and download to for you to download and print. Kapag po na print niyo yan, ikakat niyo po yung cube, parang ganyan siya. And then wag niyo pong puputulin yung mga puti na side kasi diyan niyo ididikit, i-double sided niyo po yan. Okay? Para magamit natin siya. Okay? So ayan po yung ating cube. And then for you to create that one, um, kapag napagdikit-dikit na ninyo, ganito na siya. Yan. I, although I have created a big one, yan, medyo malaki yan. Meron pa akong mas malaki, kasing laki, uh, ginamit ko doon balikbayan box. And then, nagtarpa pe lang kami. If you have attended some of our trainings, um, tinuro namin ang teachers on how to create tarpa pe. Um, Nag-print kami ng mas malaking version. So, meron kami nito, meron kaming balikbayan box na kasing laki. But this one is actually um, enough for you to use in the classroom. Pwede nga ito i-share-share ng mga sudyante. Okay? So, if you have, uh, I hope you have downloaded earlier, printed it out. Kung hindi man, um, okay lang din yan. Yan. Habang hinahanda namin yung application for for this one. Ayan. So, Merge Cube, I have included the link below for the paper for applications as well. Si application nito, meron siyang membership fee, pero meron din namang available for you to try it out. May, may, may mga free version siya. Meron din siyang option doon na you could be subscribers. May free trial din siya for 7 days. So kung ikaw ay senior high school teacher, um, reserve your 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 email address for the 7 days trial para magamit mo during your presentation for your COT, di ba? Hinahanap sa atin yan, yung ICT integration natin. So with that one, pwede natin gawin yan. Okay, so right now we are ready with our application. Che share na natin yan. Okay, so ito po yung mobile phone again that we are using. And try muna natin si Galactic Explorer. Yung pinadownload ko po na app, ang tawag po dito ay Merge Explorer. Before may kinanda akong training, Dina-download isa-isa si Galactic Explorer, ganyan. Isa-isa siya, and unfortunately, available lang siya kay iOS that time. So ngayon, naglabas na po ng bago si Merge. We call it Merge Explorer. Uh, Merge Explorer. Ang function na po niya ngayon is pwede na siyang i-download with both iOS and Android applications. So, tapos lahat applications na ando rin, ipinasok na rin siya for certain activities. So, allow me to demonstrate 
the the use of the galactic explorer andyan na siya so yung feature dati gusto kasi ng mga teachers ayan eh na doon actually naubos yung training namin before gusto nila nakikita kasama yung mukha nila na hawak-hawak ang solar system di ba ang sarap nga naman ng pakiramdam na hawak hindi mo lang hindi mo lang hawak ang daigdig hindi mo lang pasan ang daigdig but instead buong solar system na yung hawak-hawak mo so The difference right now of the Galactic Explorer and this um, Merge Explorer is pwede na yung stamp enabled. So, halimbawa, ito. Yan, ipapacapture natin siya. May stamp button tayo dyan. So, the stamp button, kahit hawa ko yung Merge Cube ko dito, naiwan na si stamp doon. Naiwan na si solar system dyan para pwede nang ipahiram sa iba pang estudyante. So, hindi mo kailangan mag-print. Ma'am, 30 ang klase ko. 30 ganito yung print ko. Kahit dalawa, lima, isi-share na lang. Isa stamp na lang ng bata. Then, they could explore. For example, we wanted to click their Saturn. So, kapag... Sana alam na kapag click yung Saturn. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. <laughs> Ayan. So, Yan. So, you could actually see how many moons are available in our Saturn. Ilang rings. Other information are actually uh, located doon. So, hindi na kailangan mga line teacher at mayat mayang hawakan si Cube. But instead, nandiyan na yung information. If you wanted to exit, just click or tap on the screen again. Mawawala na siya. Okay? There are other applications that are available. Um... Puntahan natin ngayon, meron kasing tatlong available, kahit free trial siya, meron tayong available na applications. We have Mr. Buddy and Frog's Life. Puntahan natin si Frog's Life. Medyo exciting si Frog's Life. Na-try nyo na bang mag-dissect ng palaka sa klase? Okay? I remember my, my brother, nanguhuli pa ng palaka sa ilog. Okay? Sa mga ilog na area just to get just to get that one normally tahimik yung area namin pero ngayon medyo please bear with us sa ingay so eto na we are going to dissect a frog without even di ba yan na stamp na rin natin so the frog is already right there ang instruction sa atin ipin muna natin yung kamay at paa So, you just tap on the circles right there. And of course, ayan, makikita na natin yung ating frog. Kung iso-zoom in pa yan, ayan. So, if you would tap on the orange thing, malalaman natin kung anong part siya, kung anong organ siya. Sabi, that's the liver. Then, yan, meron tayong stomach, intestines, and such. Pero masyadong, paano yung mga nasa likod, hindi natin nakikita. Meron tayong separation button dyan sa ilalim. If you would swipe that, mas mag -e extract yung ating frogs. Ayan. So, hiwa-hiwalay na. You could actually identify now the heart. You could see now where the um, the intestines are, yung ating bladder. Yan nandyan. And what's surprising about this, kapag imikot ka, kapag imikot mo yung, yung, yung phone mo, ay asa na? Ayan. Pag inikot mo yung phone mo, nakikita mo rin yung side. So, ayan. Nakikita nyo dami kong gadgets na ka-prepare. So, naka-stack lang siya doon. Naka-post lang siya with that one. Okay. So, ayan. Okay. Now, let us try. Sabi natin, bakit panay panay biology? Punta naman tayo. Exit tayo kay Frog. Punta tayo ngayon. Let's uh, see on the categories. Meron tayong categories dyan. Sa center, um, puntahan natin si Earth and Space. Meron tayong Engineering. Meron na, kindly uh, scroll down natin yan. Uh, okay, balik tayo dun sa home kanina. May nakita ko maganda yun eh. Yung, eto, for free trial lang. Doon ko siya na ano eh. Uh, for free trial, the structures of matter. This is something exciting for our chemistry teachers. Andyan yung material creator. If you would and play uh, the play button of um, 
Ito yung sinasuggest ko na kung gusto mong itry, um, you may try it mga two days before your class. Ang mangyayari dito with our merge cube, yan, meron tayong block builder na tinatawag. So, kapag i-capture lang natin, stamp lang natin siya ulit. Okay. So, nandyan na. Hawak ko yung cube. Naiwan na siya doon as our activity. Meron tayo dyan choices. Hardness. Ganon ka yung ating i-build na, na matter. For example, gawin natin level 3. So, akyat natin siya na level 3. Ang weight, gawin din natin super bigat. Number 3 din. Hanggang 3 lang yung available eh. And shyness, siguro 1 lang para maiba naman. Yan. And then, let's try now to click on build. Sasabihin ngayon sa atin na block builder, kung ano yung mabubuo mo, if you will have the hardest, the heaviest, but na, the not so shiny at all. So, ibibuild ngayon niya yan. Medyo may laglaw. Ayan. Ibibuild niya ngayon or sasabihin niya sa'yo kung ano yung nagawa mong material. Kahapon, I tried this out. I was able to create a crystal, a diamond. Kasi yung shyness ko is the highest. While, ayan, ayan na. So, hardness, three, weight, and then our shininess is one. So, kung ilalayo natin ng onte, ang luwa daw natin is stone. Ganyan. Stone, malamang. Kung papalitan natin si shininess ng number three din, build tayo ulit. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Ako kasi super amazing. Nabuyat ako. Ayan. I'm not familiar with obsidian. Ayan siya. Siguro yung ating chemistry teachers, meron tayo niyan. Yan, hardness. Palitan natin ng one. Shininess, three. Sige, try natin i-build yan. So, explore, explore lang tayo. How we would do things. Ayan. So, we created daw yung gelatin. Malambot. Magahan, makintab, gelatin nga naman yun. So yan, so exit tayo dyan. Let us try exploring naman yung math side ng ating merge. So we go na, ayan, ni genetic pa tayo, maganda rin yan. Please explore, pero um, may time pa ba tayo? So let's, let's go now. Ayan, sige, tingnan natin si DNA molecules. I hope you could still join us, medyo mag-extend lang tayo. But, super, ayan, super saya. So, we have now your chromosomes. Yan yung half of the chromosome you got either from your mom or your dad. Then, nandiyan, stamp po muna natin. Papastamp natin yan. Ah, wala pala siyang stamp. So, from that, we have now, paki-zoom nga kung anong part yan. We have now the nucleosome. Under the nucleosome, meron pa yan, nasa loob pa na nucleosome, nandun ngayon si DNA. Ganong kaliit ang particle ni DNA. Ganyan siyang kaliit. From a single chromosome, dun siya nanggaling. So, that's amazing, di ba? Mas madaling ituro sa klase. Just simply send this, uh, the file of the cube to your students, tapos din nila, they could explore the following. Or, yun nga, i-share nyo na lang yung video with your classes and how they explore, gawa kayo ng vlog ninyo for the class to use. Para hindi sayang yung seven days, nagamit natin si seven days with that one. And then let's now go to mathematics. Meron din tayo mathematics for merge. Yan. Punta tayo kay math. The third dimension. Ito e eh, free lang ulit. Ah, free seven day trial. So click natin si... Si application natin dyan. So, dito, dinidiscuss natin what is a cone. Ayan siya. Ano yung kinocompute kay cone kapag inikot ko siya. Ayan. Kapag in-stamp mo, yun na siya. Okay. If you wanted to remove, just simply click on the trash bin. Tapos, mapapakita natin si cone. Yung ilalim. Yung gilid. Ayan. If you would click on the next button, or if you would click on the image, magiging cube naman siya. Ayan. The next image is cylinder. The next image is yan, dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Yan. Then we have octahedron. 
and then pyramid, yan. sphere, and such. Okay? So, balik muna tayo. May another feature pa sabi natin. We already discussed about um, science, we have mathematics, how about others? So, let us try going to engineering. Yan. Then, we have the renewable resources, non-renewable. Punta tayo kay renewable, scroll down tayo. If you would notice, yan, we have the solar panels. Sa sobrang init ngayon sa Pilipinas, magandang matutunan ng bata kung paano gumagana ng isang solar panel. Scrolling down, we also have the wind energy. Gusto ko lang din pakita ha. Ayan, balik tayo kay wind energy. And then, baba pa tayo. Punta tayo kay hydroelectric energy. For AP teachers, tinuturo natin sa kanila that we have Maria Cristina Falls which is actually our hydroelectric plant nandiyan yan. For you to discuss din, di ba? Hindi naman pakit science, science subject lang. Pwede natin siyang gamitin na sa springboard activity. So if you would click on the play button of our hydroelectric energy, yung mga kapitbahay namin talaga, ngayon mainyong. Kahapon walang pasalsada. Anyway, maraming salamat po sa ating mga frontliners at ang mga masisipag nating mga kabarangay, mga officials who are helping and giving their services to us. Hindi alintana ang pagod at hira para lang makapagbigay ng servisyo. Okay, so balik na po tayo. With hydroelectric energy, we just click on next. So ito yung dam. May dam tayong nakikita dyan. Click on next. And then... Makikita natin yung crosscut. Ayan lang. Ayan. Sige yan. Ayan. Stamp na lang natin siya para makikita natin ng tuloy-tuloy. Ayan. And then, kung lalapit tayo, you would see there the water intake. Saan dumadaloy ang tubig? And then, if you would click on the next button, makikita nyo rin dyan yung ating next na button na tayo. Ayan, umiikot na yung ating turbine sa baba. Nag-next. Okay, pagkaikot ng turbine natin, akyat na yan dyan sa energy, which is now being generated, and, ayan na. And, tuloy-tuloy na yan up to becoming an energy. So, next-next lang natin yan. You would see now the flow of such activities. Okay. So, if we would exit this one, ito yung another feature. Meron na tayong math, meron tayong science. If you would click on the renewable resources, click natin ulit siya. Then, meron dyang speaker. If you would click on the speaker. Renewable energy is very important to our future as it allows us to produce energy with very little waste or actual resource cost. The sun is important for this. But so are things like wind and water, which also produce energy. Yeah, we can and then we also have now, yung book. Kung pipindutin natin yung book, this is actually an immersive reader. Ito na lang yung internet dependent. Lahat nung nakita nyo kanina, gumagana po yan kahit wala pong internet access. Yung solar system, yung frog, yan. Wala po yan. Gumagana po yan. Ito lang yung medyo dependent yung ating immersive reader who is actually included in the application, no? If you would click on the play button, babasahin niya word for word. Renewable energy is very important to our future as it allows us to produce energy with very then, little... If you would click on the three bars on the side, nandyan nakakapili tayo kung anong font style sabi natin Kung ganong kalaki din, font size, font style. Sabi nga, di ba, it is universally known that Comic Sans is actually the most hated font. But unfortunately, uh, but actually, according to studies, Comic Sans is much readable for those who are suffering from dyslexia. So, mas madali palang basahin ang mga articles if they have that one. We could also change the theme. We could change it into black. Halimbawa, dark mode natin yung text. And then, punta tayo dun sa gitna, yung parang may magic wand. Ito na, for English teachers, we could actually click on the syllables for the students to, who have difficulty in reading. Baba, ba, magiging bisyllable na siya. 
And then for English teachers as well, we could turn on to identify alin ang noun, alin ang verb, alin ang adjective, adverbs. And then of course, kung gusto nating show yung label, show din natin. N for noun, V for verb, nandiyan na po yan. And then, pagtingin pa natin, click natin yung parang book na icon naman. Okay? Meron din tayo sa immersive reader, we could choose whether one line or two, uh, three lines yung nakikita ng studyante while reading. And then, in-enable na rin natin si picture dictionary. Mamaya ipapakita natin kung bakit. This is something amazing. If you would click on translate, mga co-teachers natin dyan, available po ang Filipino language sa, sa ating Merge Cube um, Immersive Reader. So, just click, simply click on the Filipino language, click done, medyo i-pinch down lang natin screen para makita natin yung close button. Kapag kinlose po natin siya, inex natin siya. Then, we will try to play the button. Waste or actual resource cost. Words, the sun is important for this, but so are would, Dita natin yung font siguro. Dita natin yung font size, yan. And then yung lines, gawin natin three. Para mas makita natin yung words. Yan. Okay na siya. Okay na. Sige, play na natin siya. Things like wind and water also produce... Nakalagay dyan whether the, the item or the document is a noun, a verb. If you would click on the word energy, nakalagay yung translation in Tagalog, which is energia. Tapos may picture pa siya. So, nandun. Um, this could help us in, in giving more to students, di ba? Sabi nga natin, Merge Cube is not limited to science and mathematics, but we could actually use this as a springboard to make things a little more exciting for them. To add in those words, di ba? Pwede tayo magpa 100 word bank per week. Tapos yan yung gagamitin natin activity. They will find it, screenshot, and send it to their teachers in order for us to see it na explore nga naman ng mga bata. Ayun. Okay? So enough about this one. I hope may natutunan tayo with 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 Merge Cube. Um, exit muna tayo. Um, the reason why I could share that one, pwede ko kasi ipakita sa inyo yung phone ng paganyan. But with 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 the application called Reflect uh, Reflector Teacher, nagawa ko siya and then we have the Reflector student naman application for me to get connected. All along, you're seeing me um, sharing my screen no? with, with, with you guys na may isang phone. Yun yung capabilities na kaya din ni, Chrome, ni Chromecast. But with the Reflector teacher, kaya niya actually mag-host ng maraming mobile phones onto your screens. Medyo limited lang, sayang, hindi kaya na magcast ka distantly. Kailangan pareho kayo ng internet connection na pinanggagalingan para para makita nyo ng sabay-sabay ng mga connect. Okay, the next one that I have is virtuality. Ito na, yung isa pa nating pinada-download. This is, uh, okay lang. Okay lang. This will be now the Next topic that we have, sana na-download nyo rin siya, no? Naku, ayan, nandiyan pala sila, Ma'am Kubayashi, Ma'am Romela, maraming salamat po for joining and having us during this afternoon. So, virtuality naman po is an augmented reality application wherein you could actually see the internal organs of the body. Um, I tried presenting this before sa science, kaya lang, Nagkulang kami ng time, bitin lahat ng teachers noon, kaya lang medyo mahapon na. Kaya eto na po yun. But I would also be creating a separate video intended for virtuality, intended for Merge Cube, yung mga application for Merge Cubes, yan, nandiyan po tayo. Okay? With this one, I would like to, um, meron kasing t-shirt na nabibili. 
with them, it costs around one seven for the application to happen. Pero with the virtuality education, inalaw na manila na pwede na mga eto na lang na screen ang gamitin pareho lang ng function. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang kasing alam niya na uh, medyo groovy din kapag soot mo. But basically, it's the same function. So, ayan po tayo. And then, share ko na natin, share na natin ngayon ang ating application sa phone. If you have downloaded virtuality on your phones, I also included the dis- in the description box below yung activity sheet. Ito yung exciting, hindi madamot si virtuality. Nag-provide din sila na activity sheets that the teacher could readily use for the collaborative activity ng mga sadyante natin. Okay? Um, give us a few minutes as we try to connect our mobile phones in, in a little while again. So, sharing lang po tayo ng screens natin. Maraming maraming sa tampe. Belated happy birthday. Ay, in love. <laughs> Pareho po tayong in love. Ayan. So, I hope everybody is enjoying. Um, kung may mga questions po, we have, we will be attending to that one a little while. Um, matapos lang po. Um, I will be asking Sir JD's help in, in creating this one. Allow me to share you kung, to share with you kung paano gumagana sa screen. Ayan na. Nakakas na pala tayo. Ayan. So, I, again, I'm connecting to my phone. And then this time, um, I will have my virtuality. Ayan po yung other applications ko. Later on, we will be discussing about Wanna Kicks and Jig Space. I hope I could remember. Um, yun yung something fun naman natin to, to enjoy. So right now, ito na siya. So our application is ready for us to scan. We will just click on continue. And then itatapa. Ganyan po yung unang makikita ninyo sa screen. Nagsascan siya, naghahanap siya ng scan. If tatapat na natin siya dun sa my t-shirt, Ayan na po ang ating mga parts of the body. Then we also have narration. Hello. My name is Dr. Glover. I am your virtual expert on physiology and anatomy. Let's explore and learn about your body. Choose a physiological system and let's get started. Okay, um, let's try now the circulatory system. The circulatory system. When your organs are hard at work, they need supplies to keep them going, such as nutrients, sugars, hormones, and of course, oxygen. The blood delivers these around your body. That beating heart is constantly pumping your blood along over 60,000 miles of blood vessels. Blood flows away from the heart through arteries, which branch and narrow into arterioles and then branch up into capillaries where, inside the organs, nutrients and wastes are exchanged. Let's take a look so inside... So you can see whatever it is that is inside the heart? ...separate halves. Your right half receives blood that has had its oxygen used up by the muscles and organs of your body. This deoxygenates... Ready now, then, and then, of course, yeah. And then, aside from that, kung gusto pa natin explore pa, we have the 360 capability. Kapag kinlik po natin si 360, we will now transport it. What is it? The circular board is in the air. Inside the virtual reality na pinatawag natin. It is also made up of lots of cells. Each one with a specific role. Here so we can see now your red blood cells are being transported. Called red blood cells. And the white okay. cells are, surprise, surprise, more else? white cells. Yes. These are the security guards of the body. And so if you wanted to discuss more about the 
and let go of this one. Let's go back to this one. Okay, balik tayo ulit kay circulatory system. And then this time, let me exciting part. If you could see the heart pumping right now, if I would click on the heart button, ang nakalagay dyan, it could track down even my own heartbeat. If I would scan my finger, and then it's actually getting my actual heart rate. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, if I'm having my finger, ayan po, I'm having my finger scan through my phone. Kinukuha ngayon yung heart tracker. Ano yung hindi ko? Yung heart rate ko, sorry, hindi pala hindi. Bublad ko ako. Ayan, mainit na yata yung phone ko, kaya ayaw na yun. Ayaw niya, hindi niya ma-detect ang aking heart rate. Pareho lang po ito nung pag-post ng heart rate ng mga mga sa hospital. Makikita niyo may mga video sa daliri. Ayan. Yan. So, nakuha na po niya yung heart rate ko, which is 98. Kinakabahan pala ako. Then, if I will click on the back button, I will go back to my virtuality. Yung heart rate ko na 98, yan na yung naka-explore dyan. Yan na po yung pinapakita. Ngayon, meron tayong students activity sa may worksheet that I have shared on the link below. Meron pong nakalagay doon na pwedeng gawin ng bata is resting heart rate tapos magkakaroon naman sila ng um, after mag-jumping jack ng sampung beses, they would do that. Actually, I asked my brother to do this jumping jack and then ayan, try natin ang heart rate nito. Ayan. So, pinapaktan ko ngayon yung heart rate naman ni Toto. So, ganyan din yung activity ng mga sudyante. Uh, what they will be doing is um, what they will be doing is actually um, taking notes nagbago ba? May graphing, may graph doon eh. May, gra may graph ng paper doon on how they could use it. And to scan it, so yun yung magandang advantage if you have that one. Medyo nahihirapan niya pang kuhanin yung heart rate. Wala kang puso. <laughs> Wala kang puso. Ganyan. I hope everybody is enjoying. Nako, maraming salamat po for still staying with us. It's, uh, medyo nagpas na ng na, na one hour. Ayan. Okay. Na. Na yung nag-jumping jack na heart rate. Tingnan natin kung kamusta naman ang heart rate ng aking kapatid. Well, mula pala siya. Nawala na. Okay, so mas kinakabahan pala ako sa kanya. Ay, jumping jack na siya. So basically, ayan po, um, we will just click on the back arrow and then parik tayo kay, kay virtuality. And I hope you could enjoy this one as well. Aside from the, the heart, marami pa tayong other exploration, other parts pa natin. So, tayo, aside from circulatory system, Siyempre, may coronavirus, di ba? With coronavirus, ang inaatake niyan is our respiratory system. If we would click on the respiratory system, and we will scan that one, we click on the 360 degrees. Yeah. That is 
God puts God goes into your lungs. You know, how do you exchange now. all of one of the million tiny sacs in your lungs that stretches bigger when you breathe in and shrinks back when you breathe out. So John Paul, you blocked the mga virus with with carbon dioxide. Yeah, then you blocked when when you have coronavirus, but blocked sa lungs and all. So, it's a gruesome nga lang ano. If you're not into medical, if you're not into medical activities, it's a Exit and then of course we have. We talk about gulat actually. The one activity. Um, the digestive system. Okay, digestive system. Three hundred sixty degrees of. Yeah. Yan po pala ang laman ng intestine. Yan cilia. Here we are in your small intestine. This is where the majority of your food is broken down and absorbed into your blood. Those wavy, tender-like things you can see. So later on, we will be exploring more. Medyo, again, but I go to our getting the point of how virtually it is. Is working for us. So yeah. So right now, stop muna tayo kay virtuality. Let's go now with other applications that we have. Um, nagenjoy po ba kayo? Ah, may natututunan na mampu tayo siguro. Um, allow me to share with you another application, which is the one that kicks. Let me just have it connected again through my phone. Again, papakita ko na po ngayon sa inyo how we do the the mirroring naman ng ating activity, which is the reflector teacher. I downloaded it. Meron siyang free trial for seven days. But since I find it very beneficial, um, I invested on it. Parang nasa 900 pesos yung, yung payment sa kanya. And multiple devices na siya. I have installed it for four laptop, uh, for three laptops and one desktop already. Uh, it is functioning the same way. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, um, with the reflector uh, teacher, na screen mamaya. With the reflector teacher, ang nangyayari sa kanya is, With Reflector Teacher, may application lang akong ganito. Yung mga wala pa pong cast, hindi makabili sa ngayon, walang any cast, easy cast, yung mga casting devices natin. Um, you could just actually go online. I think I have already 